not gangster. That's very not gangster. I came up, got my name up. So when they speak of who blinged up, I'm who they bring up. Come up dissing and you'll come up missing. I'm a cutthroat baller like OJ Simpson. I came up, got my name up. So when they speak of who blinged up, I'm who they bring up. Come up dissing and you'll come up missing. Say that again. I couldn't hear you over the sound of me sh myself. I done came up. Got my name up, so when they speak of who blinged up, I'm who they bring up. Come up dissing and you'll come up missing. I'm a cutthroat baller like OJ Simpson. Little homie, listen, try and serve me. I put a 25 in your back like Barry Bonds jersey. On the streets, on the beach, y'all ain't able. Cause two, I shit on rappers like major labels. What's with the ice grilling, homie? Change your face. Does he don't do more than tan you to change your race? Girls love metaphor, and I love them back. Addicted to getting head to the Call me the Brainiac, battle rap with words wall like jihad. I write dope, flow crack, my notepad need rehab. Fuck y'all CDs, y'all can't see these or touch these. Rhyme so chronic, my songs give you the munchies. I just thought about that. Yep. Nope. <laughs> I, nope. Just about, I just thought about that. No. Nope. Welcome nope. back. Welcome to back, everybody. Another episode of the Death Fresh Show. And if you know what day it is on your calendar, it's it is. actually a Saturday. It's not, it's not Thursday. It's not Thursday. You see me on a Saturday. It's October 7th. Yes, October it's October 6th. Hey, what, what, what Halloween movie have you watched since you know the month started? Anything uh, scary lately? Yeah, but I, I did, haven't watched uh, none. I did log into my Peacock because I was going to watch some own wrestling. Is it, did you log into your Peacock or my Peacock? Keep it a buck. Pause. Ooh. But it's mine. Okay. Because okay. I have this random name on my Peacock and it's not nobody I recognize. No, it's not me. Because you're, you're, you have a I, nasty I, habit of making your because, own. <laughs> this is my theory. When niggas be like, hey, slide me the password, cool, make your own profile because. I used to have this happened when we were sharing my wrestling account. I would log in to watch something. You still like wrestling? I do. We will okay. always like wrestling. And okay. then it's like a bunch of shit that I know. Like I ain't been home in a week. Why is all this shit here? I'm like, I didn't watch this. Who the fuck is watching all of this? Because I don't even watch this shit. I, I understand. So it's best that if people just make their own account. It'd just be funny. Make your I, own profile. You watch what you want to watch. I log in to getting ready to watch stars. You know, I, I watch it at a certain time. So most people. So if you're that, watching stars, that means you caught up on. Of course. What I'm finna say. You either gonna say Raising Canaan or BMF. Okay. Okay. I do not watch that. It's, <laughs> it's the requirement for all black people to watch at the current moment. It's time. definitely a requirement. Well, somebody take my motherfucking black card. Because I'm not watching Raising Canaan. It's, first of all, it's done. But it's actually. Did you good. ever watch any of Power? Because I don't ever remember you. That's, look, that's and then it, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's actually good. So what I had got into was telling people that like I'm not gonna watch it because everybody else watched it. But once I watched it alone, once everybody was off the height of it, and then I was like, oh yeah, that this dope. this dope, this dope. Yeah, I mean, I just and Facebook fuck up a lot of shit for big me. facts. When they Why? be like, y'all should watch this, and then you go watch it, you be like. So, 39 of you niggas said this was good, and I just sat through it, and it was huff. What's wrong with y'all? See? No. I Some, think that. And then I'm in the okay. TV chat group. They gas everything. That's why I said you really? got to you gotta look at what you watching and pay attention to who's telling you to watch it. If me and Monte say, hey, bro, watch this. You're going to like it. Nine times ten, you will, because we know you enough mm. to not send you down the avenue to have you watching bullshit. That's why I asked last night who's been watching Doom Patrol. Cause Doom Patrol. That's a superhero. It's a superhero, superhero show, show, but it's is like. It, okay. Is it on Disney or is it on HBO? It's on Max. Okay. It's on HBO Max. But it's not your typical superhero show. It's, so it's a black superhero or? Mm, I think Cyborg. Is cyborg is on. I don't like this Cyborg. Mm. Only because I've seen better. But I don't like this Cyborg. But he does. As an actor, he's mm. good for the show. But his okay. look, I don't like. It's not the same. It's not the same dude from the movie, is it? No, no. And that's part of the reason why I don't like it. Because dude from the movie did from a great movie? job. Uh, from the same movie as? The Justice League movie. Okay. Doom Patrol is weird, fam. It's weird as fuck. But Isn't it Brandon Fraser? Yes, and that's part of the weird I don't part. know none of these people. Brandon Fraser, dude from the mummy. Okay, okay. I know. Oh, I know hey, that. when I saw him, I'm like, he's still getting hey. work. He, no, no. Here's the crazy part. This is his first job since the mummy. 
You bullshit. Bullshit you not. Mr. Encino, man. This yes. is his first job since. First okay, job man. since. I don't know what he did to the industry after he did The Mummy, but Dog got blackballed big time. So he ain't had a job since. But then for him to come back and be a cussing robot, I just can't take it serious sometimes. See, I haven't gotten into any type of superhero movie except for The Black Panther. Like, come on now. Like, that's about the only superhero-ish that I've gotten into. You want to people. Yeah, I'm definitely one of them. I'm bliggity, bliggity, bliggity. And black. I get, you know, I'm not against that. <laughs> I'm not against the fact that you only watch Black Panther. That's how you know Tone a real nerd, because he was like, so you want to. Do you know the definition of nerd? What's the definition I'm going to encourage you to look it up. I bet you won't say you a nerd again. First of all, I don't say I'm a nerd. He just told you. I call he you called me a nerd. Okay. And I called him a nigger. So. What? Oh. <laughs> no. Yeah. There's a lot of things that you probably should say in life, but we're gonna say it. Lord. Depending on the behavior of the people I associate See, with and I how long I've known, that Lord. goes back to you got to know the people. Because you know, mm-hmm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have never called you the hard ER. <sighs> but this one, okay, at least maybe twice a month. All right, okay. Just can't say it on Facebook because that's thirty. You days. can't say hate but on Facebook. Actually, they give it eighty can. days, not mm-hmm. days. I tried, 80. Yeah, you can catch 80 of them things. Yeah, I wrote on there one day, I hate this show, and it was like, you sure you, you don't want to change that, my guy? Hate speech. That's why, like, wow. when, I'm at, when I'm in certain stance and I know I'm going to fly off the handle, I got to put a little disclaimer in there, like, dog, this is not hate speech, but this is a real <laughs> fault. Like, niggas need to think about this. He's terrible. Wow. He's a terrible human being. Okay, well. But the world is a terrible place. Is it? It really is, I don't, bro. You know what, though? Like. No, 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 no. Because I didn't want to have this conversation, but we're a podcast, and I damn near feel like it's a requirement at this moment right now. But I am so fucking sick and tired of the are you listening to R. Kelly music or not debate that keeps happening. I'm not commenting. I honestly don't give a fuck what you do when it comes to his music. He just banned here at the network. That's all. I, I think that is I think that is really a, a broad topic. I just think that, you know, it's so many different types of it is very opinions on it. Now, it's a very sensitive topic to a lot of different people on each side of the spectrum. So we have to be very careful and respect those opinions. On, those opinions on each side. Now some people's opinions don't need to be some people's opinions weren't asked for. That is true. Some people opinions aren't asked for, but this is an opinionated world. So we have to learn to respect each side, um, whether you disagree or agree. So it's a it's a, a sensitive topic to some people who actually appreciate who he is for his art. And then there's another side of that who, yeah, I like his art, but mm-mm, I don't like what he did. And then there's that other side like, well, he was sick. It's just too many different opinions, so we have to be very, very careful on what we... How we say it. Yes, we have to be very careful. I feel you on that. That's why his music is not allowed here, because I don't want, let's say, the show before me plays I Believe I Can Fly, but the show after walks in while it's going off, and it's like, now there's a whole fucking argument going on in the middle of somebody's show... Because of a song, and I don't like you know what? Like, it's a peaceful I, place. I listened mm. to who's pod? It was Tori. Tori and Scales was down. Yeah, they did it on Thursday. It was a random ass day. It was, a, they, it was Thursday. They came in on a Thursday. Right. And or no, well, Wednesday. They came in on Wednesday. And they, and they had Weave uh, via the uh, chat. And right. He was talking, and like, I understand it, like, how some people are able to, like, well, I can separate the art. From the human, mm-hmm. because I do that with a lot of people that I listen to. Like, okay, you may rap about drug abuse, but that's not going to make me go out here and be a junkie. I just true. Under I, I enjoy the music that you make. Yes, because true. Again, I you think had that's a, the a same real thing. Argument about future, right? Like, like future is one of those people. His he friends did, do. He don't though. do it anymore. His friends does drugs so it's the same thing like for chris brown do we believe in battering women like it's i mean i i, I don't know like hold on now uh, exactly right and it's, this is the only reason why i gotta say hold on now rihanna came out later and admitted that she was agree. antagonizing the fuck out of dog they still didn't give him a right to punch exactly one how many times have you gotten <laughs> so mad at somebody 
that you end up punching a hole in the wall because. I didn't hit. Them. But that's the wall. I didn't hit that's the, the human. He, he he he. I'm not saying that he should have went. Ca- Sometimes we snap. Right. Sometimes, I'm, and I'm not saying he should. Hey, bro, slap across the face should have been good enough. I'm but. not coming. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Like grab I'm her, saying. slap her up, and then you know. I'm not. But, but as far as Chris Brown, but he life, went a little far there, with it. There are certain things in life that you can do and you can come back from. And I'm saying, like, if he's a woman, he can apologize and he can go through the steps. He went he through everything. He worked and he for it. He can become a better person. And he's never done what, it again. Right. R. Kelly, you can't take that back. He yeah. got caught. It's some on tape and kept doing it. Here's my personal opinion, and then we'll move on to the next topic. <laughs> yes, please. R. Kelly did not go to jail for what he has done. R. Kelly went to jail because he got away with it, but he continued to play in these white people's face like, ah ha, you motherfuckers can't touch me. So somebody was like, you know what? That Negro needs to be made an example You know what's funny? Of, if you really pay attention. You're going to jail, my guy. Now what? If you pay attention, he really got arrested for statutory rape. That's what I'm saying. That's like, why they keep bringing up Aaliyah. Like, he been playing around in these motherfuckers' face for so long. The white people was like, hey, we hey. let you go. But you fucking off. Hey. Keep playing. What do you like saying? One, calm down, nigga. <laughs> right. Like, hey. <laughs> like, hold on, bro. Hey, just go, go be in a hole. Right, How do you do that? You got to hit it again. It's wow. kind of long. Because that one for oh, like 50 okay. seconds. <laughs> yeah. But Some Sometimes people are pretty long when they, 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 they want they watch them call it the match. They don't fuck them and the Mexicans got on did, Speaking of that, did you see the memes? Yes. Where they took the nigga song titles? Yes. <laughs> I'm so. The internet is okay, undefeated. Okay, not to see. And this, here, here's where the podcast always take a left turn. Uh, it's your fault. This is it. Like, is, it, is it the Kevin Gate jump for no reason? No, but can, oh. can you just imagine? Like, it's a, it's probably a group of sick niggas in I jail. Pl- plotting on his booty? Yeah! Y'all just, sick. Like, <laughs> like, I'm finna fuck R. Kelly to one of his songs. Do you remind me of my G? Right, like, it's a, it's a <laughs> nigga in jail just... I, do I remind you of this orange jumpsuit, my guy? Because I'm all on hey, your ass. Done. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm your bunk mate, and you are not alone. <laughs> <Done>. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, just, <laughs> there's a nigga somewhere that is really getting his jollies off to the fact that I'm gonna be Robert Sylvester Kelly's cellmate. Trip, trip, trip. The whole name? Yes. Okay, baby. It's on. Look, it's on his record. Band around the world gives that man. I can't even make playlists no more. You I, know what? I the topic is so touchy because I'm I'm always I've always been a friend, fan of people's art. Like I don't really. You know, I try not to dove off into each side of that. I try to keep it real organic to what that person is for what I know. Now, that doesn't exclude what he has done. Like, hey, it's like you and said, sometimes like, it's some just person. so touchy. It makes people feel very uncomfortable when you say, like, yeah, I'm a fan of his art. Like, ooh, you like baby? Like, like, no, that's not who I said that I was. Like, it's like, like I like his art and strictly his art. The subject matter and what you sing about. And then I look at the shit that probably inspired exactly. it. Exactly. So it's like, ooh, That's the and biggest I get thing. it. It's I get what it. inspired it. Yeah, it, what it is like, what inspired it. So it makes I, people feel really, really. Because I think after I the know. first Surviving R. Kelly, I could not listen That's to his music really anymore. That's what really made me jump off the boat. Because when she was like. <laughs> she was having was, an abortion. That was like, he wrote, you are not alone for a chick having an abortion. I was like, you're a sick nigga. I'm out. I can't do it. Like, that, I mean, that killed me. I can't me. even. That killed me, fam. And I, then you gave it you to know Michael Jackson. Crazy? I didn't even watch the the Kelly. second one. I I watched neither one of them. See, on the I watched Lifetime the first series. one. I watched none of it. It's great content. Yeah, I, you definitely. It, it gives you something to watch if you bored. Right now, <laughs> definitely not that bored. <laughs> not that bored. You're not that bored. It, 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 it don't feel right now anyway. Okay, but he knew something was in there. He sent some niggas to the uh, to the what was that? They was doing a premiere. R. Kelly sent some niggas. Hey, shut this shit down. Whatever y'all finna say, we don't know. Duh, when Get I, this out of here. The funniest thing about surviving R. Kelly, and you know, I'm older than Juan, so when the infamous tape came out, I was in my freshman year of college. And when the show started mm-hmm. and they kind of taking you in his house and whatnot, he has this one bamboo ass wall. And immediately I was like, that's the wall from that tape. He pissed on that little girl. That nigga going to jail. <laughs> mm. Just because I seen that wall. Mm. R. Kelly, man, like, if you didn't have no faith in the judicial system, then 
after R. Kelly got like, bro, it's a video. And you relieved yourself on a child on a video. And nobody's going to fucking jail. It was, I'm going to rob a bank and y'all bet not say nothing. It was the Boondocks episode disgusted. for me about that, though. <laughs> and I'm going to do a bare face, too. Like, I'm, I'm just, disgusted. I'm in there with my headband on. It's going to say pie guy. So we got, we got to kill the security because your beard's sticking out like freeway? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, whatever. But We anyway, off this nigga. Let's move on. So, Juan. What's happening? You got a favorite football team? Uh, Not really. I don't have a favorite team. I don't have a favorite any team in any sport, but I'm like I'm fans of players. Okay, so, so who, like if my like if somebody I like is playing, I watch it. Okay, what's your favorite player and what team is he on? Uh, well, my favorite player is no longer a player. In the you discussed. You're ruining this whole joke. Anyway, you plan on watching the Super Bowl this year? Oh, yeah, absolutely! After they done dropped the dog on Super Bowl the, y'all halftime y'all show. Y'all for the halftime. I watch what's it for the point? commercials. You can watch the commercials on YouTube. <laughs> I know. No, you watch no, the halftime it's also nothing on better than watching the Super Bowl commercials true. while the Super Bowl the is Super playing. Bowl is on. But I mean, so I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna take off that day because I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a party somewhere. It's it's, it's gonna, gonna, gonna be, be a party at the halftime because the su- who who's on the halftime show? So for those of you niggas who didn't know, we about to get gangster in a motherfucker. So aftermath is taking over for. The halftime oh, the, show. The, the, oh, the it's going to be so beautiful. So we finna have Dre. Don't care. Kendrick so, Lamar. Definitely yes. don't care. Eminem. I really fucking don't care. Snoop Dogg. I might care for that. And Mary J. Blige. Mary J. Okay, I'm, Mary I'm, J. And I'm Snoop here I'm for, for Mary J. And Snoop. But the rest of them niggas. You I'm don't there put for some fucking them. respect on Dre. Name my nigga. You don't like Dre? I don't have to respect anything. Put respect. I right, Puffy. This ain't a... All right, Puffy. What, see, this is what see that right there is what's wrong with the world. They don't respect your opinion, right? Like I, I am cool. entitled. So that's to, just like the same topic that we were one, talking about. Right? You one. are entitled to not care or care about what you want to care about. I'm entitled to be defensive over Dr. Dre just as much as I tell you, Lil Wayne. You know, after Carter Three, fuck that nigga and his music. Fuck you. That's the he is my goat, and you will respect <laughs> my goat. <laughs> But, wow! Look at the pot calling the kettle black. But all I'm saying, well is, then, all right. But you see how you just jumped out the window because I was like, I don't really care about Doctor Dre. It's the, I'm, this is a lineup I love. That's why for you be like, eh. they are arguing. First of all, I do not like what. Okay, what, what don't you like about Dre? Other than the fact that you'll never get a detox. Maybe that's why I want some fucking music. You got music. He gave us comp in the album. But see, I'm going to put Dr. Dre in the same boat. I'm Do put you it. not wear the beat headphones that he somehow has endorsed? Yeah, I got a pair. Okay. So I supported him already. I got right. a pair of headphones. So I just, I'm trying to say, but why my you thing him? is, I'm going to put Dr. Dre in the same category as I put Lauren Hill. What? You motherfuckers want to keep living off of what you already did and niggas keep. Nah, fam. Okay. You did what you did. We appreciate it. Fuck you. Look, no. Dre. Lauren Hill had one album. Now, I get it. It's very hard to create a timeless piece of work because not everybody got a classic in they tuck. Lauren Hill got one. Now, she had to stop her live because you said some bullshit. But Lauren Hill, y'all got to relax with this Lauren Hill is the GOAT. What? Y'all got to relax. You got to chill. Because she's not the GOAT. Okay. We're going we're gonna to skip that topic because she is that's your goat? No, she, I didn't say that she She's was in her goat. top five. I, but I didn't never say top that either. Top what, fam? You know what? I'm going to let oh. y'all talk for me. <laughs> Come the on. The Lauryn Hill album is definitely one of the original women empowerment albums, bro. So you kind of can't. So, so okay. Let, let's, let's look at it in perspective. I don't know how we get here like every like fourth episode. So the miseducation <laughs> of Lauryn Hill yes. is top five album of all time. To you. That's what I'm asking. So yes. Lauren Hill is yes. Give right now yes. on the spot. Give me fucking four albums that go along with that. The top five. R&B. R and B. See, here's the thing about Lauren nah, Hill. No, 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 no. It to me, Tom. It's not. It's if not an R and B album though. Give me that's, okay, what it, give that's me the five. thing. Give what we, what we, what we, what Drake is right now. That was Lauren. She gave us. Hip hop and R and B. We can sit here and get bar. She can go bar for bar, and then she can make a love song. Hmm. Point. Is Biggie in your top five? You want to hear something funny? He's not. 
Why is he not? Because I don't feel like the three bodies of work that everybody going ham over so stacks up for me. That is my whole entire point of why I can never call Lauren Hill to come. And that's why I not never enough fucking work. Which is why I don't argue with you about it. It's not enough work. But as a woman, her I can bo- understand her body how of work ain't good. Her as a woman, I can understand it, her connection to the you, album. And then you know, a motherfucker had the nerve to be like, "What about the Fuji's album?" You almost got cussed out that day. In her, in their defense, that first Fuji album was ass. Wait a minute. The score? You don't know, like the score? No, no, no. There was one before that one. Oh, see, that's I the only, one that had nappy head. I only know the score. <laughs> first Ooh, album la, was la, ass. La, la. That's the one that was classic. But I'm saying though, motherfuckers be like, Lord, here's the goat. I don't think that there's a a name for it. I just think that it's basically like she made some dope ass music. Tommy said for she not the goat. Black Thank you, women. Tommy. She, not she made girl. some dope ass music for black women and black people, period. And, and that's anything why. that's bliggity bliggity black, I'm related to. And so that's how most people It's feel not about a the goat album. context. It's just like she for the people and anybody that's for the people, I'm with them. Oh, so, and see, so, so you okay with the fact that she's not punctual? What you mean? Sometimes we not punctual. We ain't perfect. Hey, if I sell you a concert ticket at 150 a pop, my black ass going to be on time. No, nah, because half of these artists that's on time that we be wanting to be on time. Future, Moneybag, Dirk. This all Lauren, these people who does Lauren Hill even be, be having opening acts? No. I'm that sure she's she sitting in a venue for three you hours. You went to her concert. <laughs> no, he when not I gonna, read Twitter. He not going to. See, them internet. people be lying. If you had me in a venue for three hours. What if they lying? That was a great lie. And this putting Lauren Hill in a bad light. And Lauren Hill don't say, well, nah, that didn't happen. So that's what you're going to assume. Lauren Hill will always get booked regardless, though. Yeah, and I don't see, like, dog, she just be taking these niggas' money and running. No, I, I think eventually, if, I think I she, know. I think her team will still compensate when stuff like that happens. Wait, wait, wait till the Death Fresh show get big enough for they can start booking us. Have you so know, many. technically, we are. We just don't go. I'm gonna have so many outrageous <laughs> ass demands. We just don't do stuff because we scared we gonna get me too from previous content or some shit like that. I wish a motherfucker would be like, "Well, why harass me, bitch?" I am so done. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, we not. We're not going into that. Please don't. Like, just, but this, this, everybody. These are conversations that we really need to have in life. He got a point there I so. because I do, like. That's a fear of mine. That's a fear of a lot of men. Or it should be as and black men. Period. I think that. But like, I look at it in the context of like, so Twitter. We had a lot of fun on Twitter. There's a lot of shit that was said on Twitter, mm-hmm. and it'd be it'd be one of the things where it's like, well, that shit was like oh nine or you know whenever it was, and now it's fucking twenty thirty five and. We may be the biggest shit in the world, and the motherfucker show some shit I said back for 2011. So you basically don't want to get Kevin Hart. I was like, nigga, do you know how old I was in 2011? And, and, and that, we all said a lot of shit. Dumb stuff. You're right. Like, when you dumb and broke, like, you just having fun. That's <laughs> why I get mad at that one guy who likes to travel down memory lane. And that mo- so memory lane be so fun. It be fun. Until it gets you in trouble. Right. That's why I be like, bro, it stayed buried for a long time. You but going down memory lane, don't bring this back up. I definitely have an irrational. Like, I have a lot of irrational fears about just. Like, I want to be. Resurfacing content. That or just like, I don't. Like, you know how niggas be like, I want to be famous. But I don't want to be famous, famous. Like, I want to be famous where it's like, I'm making good money. He want to be a C-celebrity. We, See, I can tolerate being a C celebrity. It's that A list shit I don't want no part of. Like What's I don't the A list. I don't want to walk. I don't, I don't want to be invited to what I think is a party, and now like it's a dude in the corner fucking a goat. They over here sacrificing a midget, and they expect me not to tell nobody I saw this. That's the kind of famous I don't want. I don't okay. want to be famous to the point where <laughs> every move me and my family make, you guys are scrutinizing it. Mm. I don't want photographers hanging outside my house trying to catch a photo of me for you to go make your own story up about what you just snapped a photo of. Because in the court of public opinion, the minute people have made up their mind about something, Mm -hmm. regardless of what the judicial system says, our mind is already made up. Like, let's knock on... Outside, 
So Tony you're saying is getting a wedgie out, and now all of a sudden the tabloids is like tone is an ass there because he was getting I'm, wet. I'm like, he, but that's the shit that happened. It'd be crazy shit I'm, like that. I'm done. Not even that. being an ass digger, it's just like. Oh, they gonna be like he's out here cutting his grass with no mask on he doesn't give a fuck about COVID some shit like something that would just really make niggas be like oh we gonna bring you on Oprah and talk about this like first of all thank you for bringing me on Oprah but I'm not talking about this <laughs> you know so okay. speaking you have any irrational fears? what's your biggest fear um, irrational fears not regular I don't want to know about Give me an example of what an irrational fear. So you are I just told you, I don't want to be you are a, a best selling author out of the city of Milwaukee with your latest project, uh, Lost in Child Welfare. This book is gonna be phenomenal and it's gonna be big. Are you scared that someone's gonna come and be like, Those are all lies? Yeah. Um it could be Simone you. So I'm not scared that there is going to be someone who would say that it's all lies because it already happened, but on a smaller or, scale, or, right? Or public opinion. Um, so it had nothing to do with that particular person. I think that the fact that you had something that was deep down in you that had nothing to do with me, that scared you because you could relate to what I said in this book. And you're nervous about the fact that, am I going to say your story too? Your story doesn't belong to me. My story belongs to me. So it has nothing to do with the two. So what I'm scared of is, you know, like name dropping somebody. Because that's about the only thing that I would be afraid of is name dropping somebody. And then like, oops, you know what I mean? Like, and then that person like saying like, you're talking about me. So there could be a million of Ashley's in this book. But it's like what you will never who, say. You'll never. I'll never say the last name. I'll never say who. So that is about the only thing that I'm scared of. But not somebody popping up and saying it's a lie. Because how's my story a lie to you? Unless you was already in this story. Since we here and we talking about this book, first mm-hmm. of all, this is a beautiful book, people. <laughs> Make sure you go out and get your copy. It's it's. Even, it is cute, ain't it? Even the cover art is sexy. Is that true? That's, That's me bearing herself. Yo. You in the dark. Gotta, yeah, I was just asking. Yeah. Some people don't be on the cover of their own shit. I don't know. Yeah. They don't. So what was first of all, let's start at the beginning. What made you write this book? Um, the reason why I wrote Lost in Child Welfare is to basically just tell my story. I wanted to tell my story on a broad scale so that people like myself, black women especially, are able to relate to just blurting it all out. Because a lot of times we are so afraid of people knowing what really happened to us so from what y'all know y'all met me as being this funny girl like this funny you girl on are. twitter i am i'm i'm kind of funny i really am kind of funny i think i'm kind of <laughs> i'm corny though i'm corny funny you I act think. like we ain't corny you've been sitting here for like okay y'all 30 minutes okay but y'all not corny funny y'all actually funny to me like i can laugh at y'all for real but i'm like really corny with my funny so I think that from what people know about me, it's kind of different from what they'll read in this book. It's like, damn, I ain't know that about this particular person that I met on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. She's a totally different person from what I see on the outside. So I wanted to let people in on the inside of who I was. So I'm like, let me go ahead and tell my story. I've been writing since I was a little girl. And so is this like the first book? This is the first book. This is the first of many books. Um, so this is a series book. Um, so this will end up in three um, eventually. Ooh. Um, so are you gonna make them audio books? You know what? So audio books is something that people are requesting. So I'm definitely going to get into that. It's it's definitely something that's harder to do versus like writing because you actually have to go over the book like this yeah, nah, we've heard so you have audio. to audio it through by reading it well if you're ever interested in audio booking here at tone deaf radio we do do this audio book okay so, I wait like what that's that? where it was going but i didn't i thought i let you hey, speaking of audio books i need your audible no password. the reason why it made me think of <laughs> that I need your audible password. the reason why it made me think of that is uh two reasons one on our trip coming back from what yeah, coming back from Atlanta, I put Juan on to one of my author friends, uh, her book, her audio book. And that shit was slapping. When I it was t- good? Hell yeah. 
and I don't even like shit like that. And when really? I tell you, my, when I tell you, my nigga was hooked. Tone, what the fuck is gonna happen to this chick? Dog, you not finna, bro. She killed. Like it was just the way. Then he okay. Sent me a link. So they finna make a movie. It just, out and the that's book. that's where, oh, that's but where I want to. I, I definitely to feel that's, that. That's, that's where I'm I, going. Y'all need to send me that. That's where I'm going. Uh, she just had her private screening mm. uh, last the weekend. Movie? The, movie the movie been shot. It just she finally had a private screening. Y'all last need to weekend. send me her info. I definitely will send definitely it to send you. Definitely send me her info. I need either the rest of the book. I gave it to you. I'll go look through my text message and see if I got. I've been sent it to. I sent you the other three books and the uh her solo story. Mm, it was mm. like and it's like even though I do podcasting, yeah, it's very rare that I sit and listen to a podcast. I gotta like really. Like, you I gotta it has to like, see. I, I am something. I am you. I am you because if a podcast doesn't grab me right away. I'm, I can't do it. So I had told some of my friends, like, I don't like to listen to podcasts because I don't like talk shows. I don't like people just talking about fluff. And I like to get down to the nitty gritty. Now, I'm not saying that you can't talk about fluff and then we get down to the nitty gritty. Right. Oh, we just and, talked about fluff. About and, and, and but I, but I appreciate that. <laughs> but it's some podcast that I've heard and it's like, Mm-mm, this sound like this about to be some Maury stuff. I don't I, I, I didn't like Maury. I didn't like Jerry Springer. It was those type of things that I didn't like. I did like Ricky Lake. Stuff why like that. Why, oh, why so, did everybody like her? I don't. You know. don't like Ricky Lake? I don't. I didn't get it. I didn't uh, get. It. I didn't get Ricky it. Ricky Lake was just something. She was just but, all the way around the world. That's how I look of, at her. Uh, Jerry Springer. I don't know if you've watched this, but it's a show called Dark Side of the Nineties. I know you mm-hmm. told me about it, and I think that it was a good episode. It showed like how Jerry Springer really fucked up TV. He didn't fuck. Well, he fucked it up. But Jerry Springer is the predecessor to what is now reality TV. Mm, Big facts. Okay. Because it was just it was a car crash every fucking episode. And when you watch reality TV like Basketball Wives or Yeah, Love and Hip Hop, like well, they go all the way. Let's go all the way back to for the lo- for flavor of love. Every, every like, there's never a show where nothing goes wrong. wrong. Every okay. it's always a car crash every episode. But it was always that's how he built his audience because people love drama, people right. love bullshit, yes. people but love. The thing about it was was a lot of the drama was fabricated because yeah, there was a really movie was called was Ringmaster mm. where it it was a made up movie but it was still showing the behind the scenes of the jerry springer show and it will be couples who they're together back together the whole nine yards or be completely set. like me and you could have dated we ain't seen each other in mm-hmm. five years but to get this money for this episode we both gonna pretend like we still dealing with each other oh, okay so the whole entire my baby daddy i don't think it it was just a false concept. It'd just be a false concept. Like, bro, already know that's not his kid, or it is his kid. He been knew that. He been paying child support. He knows. But we are going on here for this facade. I still don't yeah. understand how Maury is still on TV. Maury gone Maury, okay. Maury been on TV since I was in, like, middle school. I'm, I, I crazy, think he done, though, now, right? I'm trying to figure out, like, what was his episodes ever? About? about? It was either... Who was the father? Oh, okay. Um, or I used to be a that's man. Right. Now I'm a woman. <laughs> it was always special, specialty people. So you got some kind of like disability, and you're still living life. Of course, who was my daddy? Episodes. Those ain't never going away. Mm. You slept with my man, and my man is really not a man. Kind of a situation. Yeah, like them the episodes of TV. I hate. Like now, whoever's watching. Don't take this the wrong way. I apologize. We go down random rabbit holes. We'll get it's back to okay. the book in a minute. The transgender community is tread who lightly. They, are. they live their life. Nothing is wrong with it. Tread lightly. But relax. They brought the like when they put it on TV and exploit this shit. I don't get it. Okay. Okay. Like. It, so it's, check this out. It's, you you, you don't out. understand the messiness of it. Yeah, exactly. Like, okay. If you want to be transgender, we cool them, with this, but leave. yet you go on this show and you show the messy side right. of it all, of, and then you expect of hiding us. it. Like I got a crush on you, dude. When you find out who got a crush on you, it's like it's a whole nigga in a dress. You're like, come on, fam. You brought me all the way I here for that. that. <laughs> It do he do that though? But that's the shit that you. It is not even that he's. It's so you're not, saying that you can't grasp what Maury is talking about on his. We shows. Ain't, we can't grasp the purpose. I don't. Of Maury. I don't grasp that concept. Like, so if you're going to talk about me. differences 
if you're going to relate, like talk about transgender in that community, but don't correlate it to something else is what you're right. saying. To, like, to, to unnecessary if you ratchetness. you want to come out and be like, okay, well, I used to be a dude, but I felt like I was born a woman and I want to go through the change. That's fine. If you want to tell that story, that's understandable. It, I may not can relate, but I can relate to you feeling like you're not what you think you are. That's understandable. You thought you was a white woman at one point in time or something? No, nah, I probably thought I was Mexican. But that's neither here nor there. Right? You have on numerous occasions swear but up and down I'm, Mexican. <laughs> but what I'm saying is Mexican. like, swear. they call you on the phone. They're like, hey, man, we want to fly you out to New York. We want to put you on the show. Somebody got a crush on you. And in your mind, you're like, damn, it might be Shorty from so-and-so. Or like, you know, you trying to think of who it could be. That got a crush on you. Don't want to fly you to New York and tell you all this shit. And then you get on stage, and now it's not saying that this is a bad thing. Richard they from are account. allowed to have feelings too. Richard right? from account. And you like who you like, but it's like y'all, y'all, y'all. Like the conversation, you can probably grasp that this ain't some shit I'm into, mm-hmm. and this is what you brought me out here for. So now you playing in my motherfucking face on national television. Uh, somebody got to get fucked up behind. And this. I don't think most of the people <laughs> be mad at the trans. Shooting a shot, okay? They be mad that you chose to do it on national television right. where there's now a recorded episode of you doing this yeah, instead a, of you just inviting me somewhere to meet you there and then... And it's now, it's now publicly awkward. Public, you know public I, awkwardness is, is awkward. It's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Awkwardness, period, is awkward. Like, it's just like somebody proposing to you in a room full of people, and you like, bitch, what? That ain't what we on. This ain't the type of time. Would you let a girl propose to you? Would I? As long as she doesn't publicly embarrass you by doing it. If, if she does some intimate, private stuff where, you know, you drive to a beach and just you and her. If it's just me and, and she, her, and that's what she wanted to do, you I would yes. stop her. But, but if, you're say if yes. she... Then got me here under false pretenses like, hey, yo, why we finna go pick up these shoes? Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, yeah, Cause you know you gonna go. Yeah, yeah. All then, of a sudden, you and I get here, and my mama, yeah, my grandma, everybody you are you here in Shoe King? She bringing you like a Jordan that's not even made anymore, and there's a ring inside of it. You wanna marry me, Wani? No. Do you wanna be the left? <laughs> do you wanna be the left shoe to my right? Cause you know she gotta say some shoe corny. You you, you wanna be my soul forever? Like, oh. <laughs> I too on that I one, bro. Do, oh <laughs> I too. I'm off today, people. I apologize. But I'm saying that, like shit like that is just. Would you accept a publicly awkward I proposal? Be, I would be no, interested. because if I was to get engaged, I would want it to be just me and him. Like I, and then bring my family in. They can be they can be behind the scenes watching a big old TV of it happening, but do not. Do not include my family because I'm going to know, like, I want to be the wow factor. And then I also want it to be intimate between me and him. If it's about just me and you, you don't need all these other people. You just like, want the opportunity to tell him no and that nigga not be embarrassed. Yeah, that, I'm gonna, that's cool no, too. no, because, because if I, I do like, tell him no, so that brings me down to another topic. If I tell a guy no, is it over? Is it over? Mm. I don't, I, I don't think, think I don't on, think it should be. I think it depends on how you say no. No, Mm -hmm. I feel like, let's go back to the first question. I feel like when you do the public stuff, you don't give her the opportunity to say no. You've created this, it's it's like forcing somebody to go on a date with you because you- So the public part of it is not intimate because like, is this for me or is this for them? But at the same time, if you say no publicly, you have embarrassed this man tremendously. Therefore, Mm -hmm. the second question, is it over? It's damn near guaranteed. You have crushed his ego publicly, and he will always be reminded of that in one shape or form. And if y'all stay together, he is constantly going to get talked about. And she don't even want to marry you, nigga. Why are you still fucking with her? Kind of shit. Mm-hmm. So usually, yeah, the relationship is over. But if you do it private, you build this intimate it's stuff, okay. you get the opportunity to tell him no softly. Say, like, oh, baby, this is so sweet. This I is feel great. Like- I don't think we're time. You can say it and nobody feels terrible. People who propose publicly definitely don't read the room. Them motherfuckers don't read the room at all. <laughs> because they still do it. I feel like you should only 
propose publicly if what? your mate has constantly giving you hints that this is what she wants. This is what she wants. <laughs> you, it, nigga either asks me to marry you within the next three months mm-hmm. or I'm going back to my baby daddy because he just got out of jail. I'm glad we, we're here now because... I've been watching TV for like the past couple okay. days. You sound yeah. like you've been watching a lot of TV, bro. My, you you my, okay? My, my favorite person, it's got to be the corniest person in the fucking world right now. Who? DeBrat. I have now, not watched that I, show. I've been watching. Is I it, can't even is watch a, the commercial. It's a... a um, it's like a sub show. I feel like it's hip hop. I know. I, I, yeah, because she so, is her and her girlfriend, right? right so they yeah. did like eight. Episodes. Her wife, right? Is they? It I is her they, wife now. They're not married. They're not married not yet. yet. No, oh, they, okay. They, they she the the show was called Brad Love. Maybe shows. they may be getting uh, married. Yeah, no, I, I see them going down. Judy, if anybody, Judy got proposed. It. Judy she, did. Yeah, Judy proposed to Brad, but she did it publicly. Like she threw her a whole motherfucking party. Had like this coming to America thing. And, like, the bitch bought her three rings. I didn't know that Judy had this kind of money. Judy bought it. Big Booty well, Judy bought it. I, I, did, I didn't know. Is, is, that, is that her? That is, is it actually Big Booty Judy? I think her real name is, like, Jessica. Or no, I'm just saying, but is that, because you know there's a stripper that goes by that name. No, That's her her. Inst- yeah, like, her Instagram handle is, like, the real BBJ. Or See, that, it might be her, <laughs> actually. But either way it goes, like, you don't think the brat would date somebody on her own financial level? Well, after watching the show, the brat ain't got no fucking money. <laughs> All these fucking lawyer fees and people been suing the brat for her beating but why? up in nightclubs. <laughs> like, no, she did not. Bra- I can see that. The brat did two years in jail. Yeah, I, I get it. You know, Jesus, like, on the low? Damn. Yeah, yeah, so. So the only niggas who ain't been to jail kicking it with JD is a Shad Moss and the other Chris? Yeah, pretty much. Damn. Well, I don't know what Bow Wow does in his free time, so he he's, <laughs> lie. He's, he gonna go to jail soon. <laughs> Being coach lying. But no, like um. So yeah, she proposed and like just looking at like Brett just looked like she didn't know what to say, but no was not an option. Yeah, that's my point. <laughs> it's like when you put people, you can't say no. Then like the rest of the episode, she like, well, why you don't want to talk about this wedding day? Like, bitch, I didn't even want to get proposed. I didn't <laughs> ask you to do none of this. Oh my god! So she she really didn't want to be married, is what you're saying? I think because you have to look at when you are getting married, especially if you got legal issues, you don't want to bring that on to your partner. And that's what and, and that's been her whole little grind. Like I'm going through a bankruptcy. I'm not gonna marry you until I'm done and with all that. I don't want them problems on you. But Judy hell bent on being married. She don't want to be a fucking chick on the side all the goddamn time. So, so they, they set a date, so we're going to see if they stick to the date for the TV. I don't show. think they're going to get married. The date fired because it's only going to be this. You're only going to get these numbers together once in a lifetime. That's what uh, Fee from Root to Fruit did. She got married on April 3rd of this year. I don't year. think that they're going to get married, by the way, guys. What's the significance of April 3rd? Four, three, two, one. See, that's fire. Fuck it up. So that's the, that song? so they want they, <laughs> they want to get married you. on two twenty two twenty two makes sense that's you, a unique because date. a lot it's of people go, a lot of people finna try to get married on that hey, day. Shout, oh two twenty two twenty two I gotta 22. tell my sister when I get home like no, we gotta do we gotta do something big for your birthday next year it is on that that's birthday, a very unique her birthday day. is on the twenty second okay we, oh we got a party we got the whole party okay that was a hit, that was a trash one yeah hit it again no, that, 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 hit again. That was a bomb moment. You get away with a bomb. Damn. Drop the bomb. 222, 22. That's, that's fire. 222s. Right. But getting back to this book. Can we get Rick Ross? <laughs> 222. 222. If you can afford them. Okay. Well, I can't afford them. So. Uh, I lost my question. The book. Yes. What was so, your writing schedule like? Yeah, like what was my do, writing schedule? Write book? How like, do I how, write like, on the toilet? You know what? That's how you <laughs> some of your greatest thoughts That's come from me. Right verses. Um, Real toilet. time, man. We're not mad at you, fam. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Everybody was asking me when do I have time to write a book. I do work a full time job, and my business is also another full time thing that I invest in. Oh, so, you have a business? what do you do? What my do? LLC is my book. Oh, so it's just, okay. Please. My book writing, you know, I give back um, to the community. I also have Sip and Speak coming up October 10th. Damn, I was going to give you a moment to plug that, but keep going. Sip and Speak you might well October do it 10th is what coming is up. What is Sip and Speak? 
Okay. Why would you you gave her the button? You don't like the. You the told pool? me. To I'm just, I just remember. Okay, you can have a button. No, no, no. You can have them. You got it. You got okay. it. Now. No, no. You're doing a great job. No, you guys. You are doing so much better than other guests. They forget the buttons <laughs> is there and shit. I love the buttons. Even as the host, I forget the buttons is there. Really? Yeah. Okay. Now, Sip and Speak is. Something for black women See, to oh, work. For black women. I am so. Men don't. Bliggity, 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 bliggity. So black. white women not allowed? Not saying that. Okay. I was just, I was just trying to see it's where not, we... It's just not catered to them. If they, if, they, that if they pay, Here if they buy I'm a saying. ticket and show up, we're not going to turn them speak away. speak is dope conversations amongst dope black women. It gives black women the opportunity to express themselves in a safe space with like-minded women like themselves. So, for example, for myself, based off my book, I've been through a lot of different traumatic situations. Yes, you have. And I like to share that amongst women that has the same or different or maybe something that's similar. So it doesn't necessarily have to relate to foster care. It could also relate to um, a two-parent household that you may have felt abandoned because your father maybe went to prison and your mom was always working two and three jobs. So you kind of felt abandoned. So it's different women from different walks of life okay, who can relate to you know different topics so what we'll be doing the first topic is based off of relationships and identifying self-worth and drawing the line between second chances because black women always put up with the most shit and y'all know we do we put up with we the most shit and we don't really have to. Neck. So, yes, it's always going to be the neck ring. You know, we got a little spice to it. You know, a little sprinkle. A little sprinkle. Y'all, y'all should have had some sprinkles on here. What the, <laughs> what the fuck? What the sprinkles do? I just want to I just want to ask you what would a male dominated podcast do with sprinkles? What the fucking sprinkles sound not, like? It's not <laughs> it's not often that there's a woman like, here. You want a little salt bag? I actually want we damn near almost like have a woman every Okay, y'all, you know what? <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. There's always a We woman. really have a woman Wait. on here to balance the fact that it's two men. Right. See, See the air horn don't even work. Because it might be in the wrong place. Don't worry about it. Okay. But for real, though, I just want to be able to, it's a therapeutic-based type of event space. So I want people to just say they shit. Like, go through, you go through so much shit and just be able to blurt your shit out because it's so much stuff that we go through that we don't talk about, especially in the mental health community. For so long, I was always quiet and I've always thought about like, damn, I should start saying something but what if somebody, what if they gonna think of me? Like, oh my God, I feel like people gonna judge me based off of blank, blank, and blank. Like, so, I, Oh, is there water in there? No, I just think that people... Yes, yeah, so I'll think of water. I think that people always forget that we need to be open and talk about different things that we go through. And I want to give women the opportunity to do that. <laughs> Grazie. Yeah, so I want to give women the opportunity to talk about that shit. So is this like a one-time thing? Or is no, this is, like is going to be, monthly? this will be monthly, okay. um, talking about different topics. So this month is relationships and identifying self-worth and drawing the line between second chances. That's relationships is October 10th, 2625 South Greeley Street, 12 Greeley? to 3. Um, it's in at um, Everyday Studio. Yes, it's on the south side. Oh, dude. <laughs> Don't you, baby? Mm-hmm. That's our boy. Yeah. We'll plug that. Absolutely. Week, we'll plug, we'll plug Ooh, that. This water's so good and cold. See? This is Shout out to them sick niggas on Facebook that's drinking room temperature water. You motherfuckers are retarded. It's good for your body. It actually I just is can't good do it because all. this frees your veins. It can't. I just can't do it all the time. That's cool. Look, all I'm saying is you 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 go grocery shopping, right? Absolutely, once a week. When when you go grocery shopping and you be like, you know what? I need some orange juice. Dog, I really got to go to this. Do you sit the orange shit. juice next to the refrigerator? Do you put it in the refrigerator? I put it in the refrigerator. Yeah, all right, then that's all I'm saying. Motherfuckers <laughs> is crazy. Just you go buy everything else. You put it in the refrigerator. You drink it cold. You just, I just think that you could put it wherever you want to put it. You, but orange juice particularly is supposed to. Be. Orange juice cannot not be people, in the fridge, bro. It changes if it's all outside. All I'm saying is people. Oh, go, look at you on my friend stuff. Yes, I just went to the deck shack. Shout out to the deck shack. Why are you all in my phone? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, people openly go to the store and buy cases of water. Mm-hmm. If you want to drink room temperature, why don't you drink tap water? 
Because it's that. No, oh, no, no. <clears throat> I don't care. Well, when the last time you drank actual tap water? I do not. And why don't you? Because just regular, the, the bottled water is better. It tastes better to me. I wouldn't wish tap water well, I, you on know what, anybody. I'll take that back. Tap water is okay as long as I got a little ice. Tap water is still just disgusting, bro. You taste the mineral. And you eat vagina. Whoa. Okay. Those no. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't right. know. I'm trying to figure out where that water might be better than some pussy that we meet. I no. Well, y'all are tough on it. You need better choice of women if you have to be like, mm, tap water is better. Look, Tom. I'm, all I, all I'm saying is I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. Have you? I didn't make those same mistakes. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Hey, Twitter is wild shit. And I'm still mad that that guy keeps I bringing up old stuff. I haven't. You haven't? You haven't been on Twitter? I definitely When's the last time you been I on definitely Twitter? slept with a few followers. Oh, yeah. I have to. Slept with a few Facebook friends. I've definitely done that. Wow. Well, you know. I mean, it's life. Knock down coworkers. Shit. That's what I needed to not do in life. You work with white people. Always. Well, I ain't always work with white people. I just now have grown the magic of working with the Caucasians. I used European, to work. I used to American. work in. A, I used to work in a ghetto forever. In the ghetto. But then I realized y'all be killing that, me. Uh, y'all killing my. Y'all killing my high. Uh-huh. Oh, you get high. Mm-mm. All the time. Off of the. No, I don't. Not weed. Like the daiquiris that I had prior to what's coming what's here. What's wrong with weed? There is absolutely nothing with. Thank you. Things that I, grow from the earth is for you and I. Right. I Nothing wrong for like with that. Bash weed. Absolutely like, not. I wasn't gonna bash no drugs. Cocaine, don't do it. I ain't, <laughs> never, I ain't never did it, but I don't think it's. Y'all is so random with it. I think so this random. podcast is like social media Definitely. come to life. It's in real time. It's the, it's the social media for me. So when this is, podcast when is the was. This podcast was born out of social media. I can believe that. You were a part of the earlier process where we were making a lot of bad choices. So definitely, you have seen our growth, just like we've seen your growth and loss. Congratulations on that. Thank you. You have come come a long way of not being. Oh, he had the applause. That's what I really want. I really want some snaps. We gotta get those. Yes, definitely got to get some, the sprinkles. We got some P3 snaps. I just never moved them over to us. Um, but what was your weight loss journey like? Yeah. My weight loss journey was very, very emotional, y'all. I'm going to tell y'all something. I was so depressed when I was bigger. Like, Were you depressed because you felt that you were not I, loved being a bigger woman? Or? No, I was depressed because of how I felt. Like, I didn't feel good in the inside. Like, So, look, this is not, I'm just trying to grasp. Mm-hmm. Were you bigger because you were an unhealthy eater and you gained a lot of weight? Correct. Or were you, like, already kind of big and you just didn't want to be there no more? So, I was big because I ate good all the time okay. and I just sure. didn't care what I ate and I didn't take care of my body until I found out I had diabetes. So I was like, oh, uh-huh. yep, got to take care of that. So I had to really like calm down on right. what I was doing and take care of myself because it got real rough. It got real rough. And I just didn't like how I felt. Like I felt like I was always pretty, but like I didn't like how I looked in certain clothes or I didn't like how I looked in certain things or maybe like around my friends or whatever the case may be. I was going through a lot of different Mental health things. See, I'll fucks with that. Not the mental health shit that you're going through. But, like, you felt like, okay, I don't like this about myself, and I have the power to change it. Yeah. that's and Most people be like, man, I don't like the fact that I'm fat. And then they wallow in it, and they get depressed. I'm stuck. like, look, this is something that if you really want, you, you can change. You gotta change it. I, you don't have to be fat. It's, it's the fact that we <laughs> as people don't realize how much the people we have around us mm-hmm. are going through stuff that we would yeah. never think they would go through. Like that's that's the that was the important prime, of prime it. example. Like me, Juan, our other brother, we're on the plus side. So niggas will see us and like mm-hmm. you some fat niggas and woo woo. But there's been days where it's like I could, I don't like this, you know? And it's not that I'm mm-hmm. ashamed of it or anything like that. It was like I just don't want to be I don't want my gut anymore. You know? Mm-hmm. And stuff like that. And it's 
And I look at Juan and be like, but my nigga right here, he, he's bigger than me. He's been big all his life. And nigga, I'm fat and fluffy and you still going to fuck me. It's how he feels. And I'm like, I need his confidence. Yeah, he ha- a, has huge self confidence. That's it's critical. I, I didn't know. I wasn't always. Like and that's what I, 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 I know that. that but that's where I, I do know that. Flip, and that's where I, I was getting her to flip. And it's like as we started doing this podcast and stuff more, Juan used to have the same mind state that I have, where it was like, I don't want to be a big nigga no more. It's either like you gonna change it, or you gonna have. It's like you're either going to change what you don't like about yourself mm-hmm. or you're going to find out what you do like and you're going to, you know, you're going to make yourself happy. Right. Like, I feel like I was just having this conversation with my little brother because mm-hmm. he just turned 18. But he's going through this weird, awkward stage of life where he don't know if he handsome enough. <laughs> or, like, I mean, it's just, I'm only laughing because the fact that Noah is at this point where he's having this conversation right, now but, makes me laugh. And it's like, I feel you. I get it. I totally was there where you at. Like, I used to, like, mm-hmm. ain't no girl ever going to talk to me, like, because I was fat and I wore glasses. Like, I went through this stage. So, I be trying to get him to understand. It's like. Self-confidence is important. Right. And I can't give you the words or I can't show you how to be self-confident. It's just something that's going to have to grow with you. Mm-hmm. You got to get self. to learn how to do it. But right. I, and I try to tell him, like, the way that life goes now, you're in a perfect space where it's okay to be you. Yeah. Like, the it's shit. So, it's that, so perfect for the him. The shit that you like when I was your age, I, I would have got ripped for liking that shit. Mm-hmm. Facts. Like, people still look at me funny because I like wrestling. I'm 33. Bitch, I like wrestling. There's nothing wrong with that. But when I was younger, oh, uh, you watch that fake shit. Or, oh, you watch but your you cartoon. Like it. But you like And, like, and trying to fit in with. Like, I was at work, and I had this thought in my head. I'm like, for so many years, I wanted to fit in with some shit that I didn't fit in with. Right. right. Like, I wanted to be the street nigga. That's not me. Right. Well, I All I want to do is street, buy man. shoes, play video games, smoke weed. That's my lane. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. I don't have to be a street nigga. That shit really ain't cool. Like, I don't want to fucking go to jail. Or die. <laughs> Y'all praise niggas who be in and out of the fucking system who can't get a job. Fuck that. Yeah. I want to go back a little bit. You said that mm-hmm. sometimes you even felt self-confident about yourself around your friends. Mm-hmm. It's crazy how the people who we're supposed to have the closest to us sometimes be the reason why we have some of our biggest depressing moments. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. And it's really serious with women. Oh, it's huge. It's, it's drastic because sometimes at the point of where I was going through my depressive state, Right. Where, you know, like my friend may look a particular way. And I, especially when it came to weight, if it was like something that was like, dang, you look good in that. You know what I mean? And like, I'm here I am. I feel like I'm not looking right in it. You know what I'm saying? It's just a different task and a different mindset that you have to put yourself in. So if you want to change something that you want to work on as far as weight or your mental health or something, a relationship or just working through things. And when you're around your friends and you see certain things that they're working through, it's like, Oh, like, you know, you kind of try to fall back a little bit. You start to scan the room and it's like, dang, are they talking about me or are they doing so many different things? So it's so much depressive moments that right. women go through when they're changing or when they're growing because they see so many it doesn't necessarily have to be their friends it right. could be people at work people in the mall people that you look at online the internet we're not gonna like, talk about how the internet has fucked up so many people it the internet has drastically changed so many different concepts and what we're supposed to be especially women especially black women I um really feel like we don't have to be whatever the internet say we want to be because we can be whoever we say we want to be, ladies. I okay. Feel like, the spec- <laughs> like just thinking about like that, the spectrum of what women should look like has definitely changed. Damn, taking consideration, sixty years ago, we wasn't supposed to see half of a woman's body. Period. Like a woman, damn near was supposed to be care- covered up, up to damn near her neck in one shape or form. You'll be lucky if you seen an elbow, my nigga. She was considered a harlot if you've seen her kneecap. I really want to <laughs> like go and pinpoint like at the this, moment it changed. At the specific, not, not even when it changed. Like I just really want to specifically pinpoint the moment when everybody was like, "Yo, fat girls is cool." 
You know what? Like, I love me a. Listen, I, just, I got some big, um, I just bigger walk, friends. Like we was walking down the street and left turn happens like hey, you they know have Let's the go most get confidence. And you know what it is? It's bigger not, women have the most confidence. And, the most, they are so beautiful inside and out, and they know it. They wow. bask in confidence. Here's the I'll thing. Bask in it too. God Here's damn. the thing, Juan. There's not a specific moment when the world started accepting BBWs. As you get older. You don't want a woman who reminds you of a child's body anymore. And as you get older and you start to gain weight and change and whatnot, the people you grew up with, you're starting to notice and the change in them too. But because that's who you want or that's who you like, you start to accept those changes in them too. Like you talk to a girl, she just had a baby. Now she got a little bit more meat on her. She got the gut now that she can't get rid of. We call it baby fat and all these different things. But because we like this person, we accept it. So now as we see more and more women with the baby fat gut, we was like, eh, I'm first, okay with that. First big and, girl I fell in love with was Kelly Price. Yeah, I love uh, me some Kelly. I'm going to keep it. You know Bow wow. I Kelly Price hey, what's fine. up with this Bow Wow word? I don't know. <laughs> Kelly <laughs> Price was so fine he's, to me when he's I was work, like 12. He's working on the expanding The word Bow Wow is funny. He's working on expanding his vocabulary. No, I like I it. I like Bow Wow. I like that. I've heard he, some old niggas say that. I like Bow Wow. I think heard I, Scale say that, to be honest I like Bow Wow. <laughs> it's Bow unique. Wow. But yeah, Te- uh, Kelly Price was is, the first That big. is terrible. Kelly Price started my infatuation with bigger women. Like I just I love him like ah. I'm all in your business. Have you ever had a hug? My from bestie a got mad because I didn't go pick a food from her the other day. Have you ever had she a hug from mad. a BBW? Have I ever yeah, had a hug from BBW? Nigga, we got BBWs on staff. So soft. Shit, warm. L Renee gives the greatest hugs ever, bro. She, it takes away all your pains, mentally, I think a, emotionally, a, spiritually. A BBW and a mother's hug, top five. That's why you got to get what yourself a hug you? from a BBW mom. See it, wow. Excellent. And not none of these <laughs> new moms. I'm talking like That's a mom who done raised a kid. A, a mom who done raised a black boy. Yeah, oh, she done been through some shit. Right. Especially if you like my age. Right. right. Oh, she gonna hug you like. She done been through some shit. Cause that she done want, probably done been to jail a few times. He done some stupid shit. Done accidentally ran to a racist cop and you didn't know he was gonna make it home. So you really hold him tight when he walked to the door. I'm just saying, fam. Yeah, man. Black, black women hugs. They it's are, different. It's terrible. Because a black woman sees shit that no other race, creed, or color sees at a level. Mm -hmm. Like the simple fact that your brother might just be going to work and not come home because somebody did some dumb shit that had nothing to do with him. No other race, creed, or color has that problem like that. Bro, you have to give your kids three separate talks. You got to give them the birds and the bees. Mm -hmm. You have to give them being black in America. Mm -hmm. And you have to give them how to actually handle police. Why the fuck do we have to give the last two? I just want y'all to know that if I was to ever vanquish and some unfortunate shit like that, if I get to heaven, I got we gotta run that back, bro. I, this is I know I'm gonna die, but this ain't how it's supposed to happen. You gotta send me back. That you gotta send me back. I wasn't done yet. Like I'm unfinished, bro. I mean, that's the first conversation. <laughs> you gotta send me back. That's the first conversation right, I'm gonna have with him because, like, bro, you set this guy up for greatness, and then you was like, "Nah, come on back," and then you didn't have him die in like a righteous way. You had him be killed by a cop who is fucking trigger happy. Like, why? You know, but that's a whole nother show. <laughs> that is a right because I get down the rabbit hole of like the shit I think heaven looks like. Yeah, we already said that heaven's yeah. a call center. So it's a conversation that we need to have. The heaven's a call center. I think heaven is a call center. Heaven is you know, a call center. It is <laughs> your depiction of whatever you think it is. There we go. So There's, some some people might think it's beautiful white women baking cookies. I don't want that cookie. I'm it, done. I think it might because be. all <laughs> all they make is sugar cookies, bro. They it don't might even be put a I'm motherfucking call you. center that don't nobody answer the phones at. For all we know, it might be a panel of people and then God is just picking topics and then they play like Will of Fortune with your name. Okay. Damn, so, every, so God everybody like, was at the DAC shop. God today. be like, lottery winner. Yes, everybody was there. You missed it. Uh, I run a whole damn network. I was at home you do. dying. 
Mm-hmm. Now, if you love me, you would have brung me a Dak. And I was a little fucked up. Goddamn alcoholics. I'm being a lot of fucked up. Lynn. I was messed up. How was it? Was it great? Did it was awesome. Me? Shout out to the Dak Shacks. Shout out to Mike in India. You know. Yeah, hey, give him a round of applause. So, we'll, before we get out of here, we'll absolutely. Because um, I don't want to keep you too much longer. Okay. We done journeyed down so many rabbit holes. We did. Been hey, Kiva. I miss you, too. Did she miss us or the guests? No, she missed us. She, Kiva, act, I was talking to them because. Who's Kiva? Kiva? Hey, Kiva, girl. Because um, wine now, laugh later. Because they changed their name. Is that, is that, that's what they came over with? That's what they're now. Fire as hell. Okay. Uh, hey, Kiva. They went on a nice hiatus. Oh, I like her uh, picture. Oh, yeah, that's a picture from her. That's a picture. That's her picture from her birthday that just passed. I love that picture. Uh, she was doing it way big. I love that shirt with they, the big. Yeah. That's definitely giving me fall vibes. Okay. Kiva's out here. I love vibes. that. Kiva, slide through my event, girl. Oh, 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 I thought you were going to say something else. No, she's, no I'm reading her comments. I know. I thought you were going to tell her Slide, slide through, through my event, Kiva. Sip and speak. And, and bring your shoulder pads. No. <laughs> relax. Because baby is getting off in that outfit. I like that yeah, outfit. Slide through girl. my Keep event. doing her damn thing. But they'll be back 26, this month. 2625 South Greeley Street you, from 12 to 3, October 10th. I'm, sip and speak. I'm pretty sure they know where everything is. Dope are. black women. All right. Having dope conversations. Yeah, you, okay. you, you know we... We give a, a moment. Oh yes, absolutely. No, but you was interrupting me and Kiva's moment. But, we were having a moment on that TV. But me and Kiva was talking. No, first. me and Kiva is talking right now. But I was talking. How's your about, relationship status? Uh, are you single? Is that how you gonna break? Just how you gonna just change you, the conversation? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you looking for love? Are you waiting for it? Like, what are, um, you, are you dating right now? Um, I am not dating right now. I am totally invested in branding my business right now. I just want um, to know that Kiva said those are not shoulder pads, so now you just really made it awkward. Um, oh, you just got big ass shoulders. Just. I will definitely say the info at the end, boo. Um, so I am branding myself right now. I'm really focused and invested on it. I'm not like looking for it, but if it falls in my lap, then it falls in my lap. Um, I am open to dating. Um, I'm not closed off at all right now. If it comes around and it comes around, then do you have a you particular know, type that you would, you know, saying, you know, buy me three daiquiris and we might be able to have a conversation? I'm sorry, <laughs> buy me three. <laughs> Why three? That oh, third one, that conversation is done. It's, you fucked up. Okay. Yeah. So dating, I'm, you know it. Is there any special gentleman in your life now? There is no special gentleman in my life right now. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, nobody is special right at this moment, unfortunately. I'm working. I mean, you know, I'm not like forcing nothing right now. I just think <laughs> it's all. <laughs> they some nice guy. <laughs> now that you're trying it's to get real, they can't no, be no, 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 no. That's see, I love Kiva to death. But she want niggas that rob liquor stores <laughs> and shoot Kia boys. Bro, so, first of all, <laughs> how much money do you think is in the register at it a liquor store? It ain't the fact that you're doing it for the money. You, it's the fact that you just. What you look for in a guy? What's your type of guy? Um, What do I look for? Right now, I'm looking for ni- absolutely nothing. A nigga with a job. <laughs> like, well, that would be a good hey, thing. You no, know, that's very rare. <laughs> that would be a great thing. Nigga with a um, job. Someone who's compassionate. Um, hey, hey, I got a job. <laughs> someone who's compassionate, who's um, a gentleman, a sweetheart. Um, he robs liquor it, stores. Um, someone who is totally. You know, not necessarily neglecting their mental health, but catering to the things that they don't talk about. So um, you want a nigga to open up and tell you everything? Like you Barbara Walters? No, I want I want for that man to acknowledge that he got some shit too. Like, Are you going to help him work through it? Absolutely. Or do you want him to at least be, you know, 45% in before you No, it's not that I want to help him work through it. I just want for men to stop acting like they don't have shit going on 
and I am a woman who have shit going on, who has had major things going on. So you can't like okay, skip so up on the mental health. Let me, okay, here's a question. Like, okay, so when you say like shit going on, mm-hmm. what that mean? So like I still get triggered sometimes, like from certain topics for certain conversations. Like, oh, you talking about like the mental health? I thought you were talking about mm-hmm. like, day to day life because you know you busy, so he got to be doing something. What I would assume he would be doing something, but that's not what I'm saying. Okay, I was like, <laughs> cause no, cause women they kill me with that. Well, I'm doing this. What you doing? Well, bitch, I just did. I went to work, and I my day is eight hours. I right. Eight so hours it my day some is, sometimes my day, bitch. <laughs> Leave me alone. sometimes women, you know, I I am particularly busy. So maybe if I have a guy who is less busy but doing his thing too, that might work for me. You know what I mean? Like I'm not saying that he have to be as busy as me. No, women. But have your thing going on if you're gonna have your thing going so on. So can you date entrepreneurs? Yes. I can date an entrepreneur. Can you date regular niggas? Like, What's a regular nigga? I'm sorry, can you date regular gentlemen? What's a regular nigga? Okay, man? when I say regular gentlemen, this is what I mean for those who be listening. Like I think in particular that I am a regular Right, Kiva. Gentleman. They act like they can't be triggered. I'm so glad that you use that verbiage. Gentleman? A regular gentleman instead of that nice guy verbiage that you always use. Well, no, I, I still think I'm a nice guy, but I do have my points where I, I do weird shit. That's so why I, I want you to I change your see. verbiage. You know well, what? What I'm saying when I say regular is like, okay, so you know, you have some people who thrive to be entrepreneurs, mm-hmm. like my buddy here. Started a whole network. I ride with him. I got his back. But that ain't me. My thing is, I'm going to work for eight, nine, maybe ten hours a day. That's what I'm going to do. Right. Then when I come home, that's me time. So I'm going to be a regular person. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think that there's something. Some women don't like somebody that. Somebody that I just go to somebody who would not. That's, so women. I don't think that there's nothing wrong with a man who has a job who likes to work his ten hours or eight hours or nine hours. I don't think that there's nothing wrong with that. So if you have... A man that's doing his thing and then a woman who strictly because I per, want to go 100 percent entrepreneur. I have a job and I'm doing entrepreneur work. So I'm doing both. So maybe you working your regular job is a balance for me. Like, mm-hmm. I, you know, having that. That's all I I, it's all about balance for me right now. Like I, I'm looking for somebody for who can cater to my emotional needs because I. I have shit going on. Sometimes I be want to be like a little <laughs> Google Gaga baby. Sometimes I would want to cuddle all up on my man to just lay my shit down on the line. Right. So, so basically, you just from the outside world because I'm sick of getting beat up out there. And then so, when I come home to you, so let me make sure I, I want to be able correctly. to do that with you. Let me make sure I hear you correctly for the simple minded men. <laughs> What's so, a simple mind? Those who just don't get it. Okay. okay. I'm very simple. If you have had, if you have not noticed any time, I sometimes have to re-explain shit to this nigga. So you want a man who at least is doing something with his life where he's achieving something or at least stable. But let's say from 6 to 10, I want my man to at least be able to be there so I can be the biggest baby and dump everything on you. And you was like, but you a boss and you got this. Now come get this loving. Um, right. Minus the baby work. Um, so you, I, I because sometimes because right and I hear you um, I did use that verbiage but it's not necessarily like being a baby you because just want the emotional emotional dump someone the emotional just, support right. um, when it comes to dating someone mm-hmm. like I feel like a lot of times we feel like because we are in a relationship or we are married or we are in some type of companionship like I can dump all my shit on you what if what if the shit that I'm dumping on you kind of re-traumatize you. I don't know how your day went. So try to ask me what's going on before you dump your shit. Right? That like, I don't mean, want... That's, that, that, that makes sense. Like, the one thing I always loved about my mom and my stepdad relationship was in the morning, they would have coffee talk. It didn't matter what the kids were doing, right. what was going on. Which was on. important. And they had their their daily coffee conversation. You know, they talked about what either happened the day before, because most of the time they came home from work and like an hour later, then both of them niggas knocked out. <laughs> but they would have that conversation in the morning. Sometimes my mom would vent about the dummies at work and things you had to deal with. Sometimes my dad would just talk about things that he wanted to do and stuff that was going on with him. And that's mm-hmm. how they maintained their balance. 
I mean, okay. I think they still do it right now, eat, not the coffee part itself, but they still have their moment where they just sit in a room and just talk about everything and right. whatnot. And Which I, is an intimate it's, moment. It's an intimate and a necessity, I feel like, should always be in a relationship. And a lot of relationships this day and age is actually missing that. Mm -hmm. A lot of relationships in this day and age focus so much on sexual gratification mm -hmm. that emotional gratification is damn near thrown oh, out Oh, yeah, the I'm going to definitely have to have that emotional <laughs> because I just be want to tap into my partner. Like, I want it to be so locked in to where we just, that emotional connection has to be strong um, because a lot of times, for me in particular, um, men are so wild about the the physical attraction like you know or women too like damn he look good it's always the physical but what you look like on the inside so i really Ooh, like to i like to know Big what you look facts. like and what you feel like on the inside before i because at this point you could be fine as hell but your fine ass ain't got it all together in that mental yeah, like and well i don't like the crazy word because oh. i think that we all crazy we oh, all have the sure. potential to be crazy, Catch but the weekend, my thing crazy is, crazy. I just like to know what the man looks like on the inside, because don't come to me with all that shit that you got going on and think that you can just bleh. I don't want to do that to you, and you ain't worked through your shit. Come to me with half of that shit, and we're going to work through it together. Before <laughs> we, no, I'm just saying I feel you're if you from. if you come to me with a hundred percent problem before we start dating, you're not the man for me. But what because I'm saying you is figured out because you haven't figured out exactly. Is. You don't even know what your problem is. But if you come to me like this is the issue that I have going on, maybe we can work through that together. Maybe we can figure out a way how we could bust those problems down to smaller problems and we can start adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, you know, doing all that. Like I want to be able to have that with someone. And not just don't blah your shit on me. Right. Because a lot of people have childhood trauma that they don't even realize yeah. is trauma. And it's huge for me. Like you can't be, you can't be doing all that. Yeah. Shout out to my book, Lost and Child Welfare, available on AshleyStokes.com. I don't want nobody to be coming up to me with link will be in bio. <laughs> well, all that stuff that they've had going on, and like, what you don't know about me? Like, what if you start saying this happened to me too? And I'm like, wow. Like. <laughs> you know what, Kiva? We do be What that mean? Okay. What that mean? Are y'all potting oh. tonight? So that means that we are <laughs> actually having real conversations. Yeah, conversation. I told you. With real goals. <laughs> right. yeah. No, I'm just saying, though. I just think that it's a bigger issue when people have relationships and don't discuss them with that partner. That's why, I mean, I was in a relationship to where... My partner at the time had a lot of mental health concerns for Ooh. me. So now when I said, when I was putting in the air, like, yeah, I want a good man. I want someone who's going to be able to provide and take care. He had all that. But you didn't put the key part. About I didn't put that key part in there. Stability. Mental stability is top number one. Hey. Baby, you ain't even got to be all that fine for me no more because... <laughs> Baby, you we can good. figure that oh, out. I you gonna look? I, I, no, I ain't saying. I ain't saying that I'm. I ain't saying I'm looking good for the both of us. But you know, the woman is the compliment. However, you looking good on the inside is really gonna attract me to who you are. It's so crazy how there are so many women now from like the age thirty going up where. The physical attraction yeah, is, is okay. you know, the physical attraction I, I ain't mean, that major anymore. I'm not that, saying that you I don't ain't saying want that it. That you, no, uh, because I'm not saying you don't want him to at least be appeasing to you. Yeah, just be good looking. But those little right? extras, don't, you don't extras, care. Boo -boo, you, you don't care about them as long as mm -hmm. he he's mentally stable, physically stable, financially stable. That if you got those yeah. three and love me out loud, a lot of yes. women would look past flaws. Yes. Absolutely. I, I, I ain't gonna look I, past them. My 30s. I ain't gonna look past them. One. I ain't gonna look past it. We, we gonna work it things, out. We gonna and work you it gonna out. Be like the biggest catch in the city. Se my second, my second run gonna be phenomenal. I'm just saying. My no, first, my first run was amazing when they they started liking the fat niggas who could make them laugh. It's your um, season, bro. No, no I love was, men who can make me laugh. That's that's that's. If you, you can make me laugh, because I'm always sitting here. Let me get my face together. Hold on. Oh, you like you? Yeah, you definitely done had. Uh, what what did what do I what, what did they call mm -mm. it? RBF? Mm -mm. You got RBF. Wait. Rest in bitch face. Hold mm -hmm. on. Wait. Did you just reset. Now how the fuck? 
do I think you have a sense of humor and you look like that? <laughs> exactly. So I'm trying to tell you because I think that people, they see my resting bitch face and I, I am a person who... That's my face, y'all. We've we already know known that. that. <laughs> We've but, known that for but, years. But y'all known this, though. Y'all know me. So the difference is giving that to other people. And it's like, damn, is this girl going to laugh? Like, do can I approach her? Unapproachable. Right. That's what I'm going to say. And do people, you feel like people, that has stopped you from being able to probably have a date or two with certain guys because they feel absolutely. like... Absolutely. They feel like they can't approach me like she's so, mean as fuck. She... She probably like mad at somebody. Her man done pissed her off. She got some bullshit going on. I don't want to yeah, approach her. I, my mind. I don't <laughs> exactly <laughs> because right? that's a typical male because thought. Because that's a typical male thought. You so ain't saying nothing wrong. It's that's a fact. Like and men do say this to me. My men friends be like, damn, Ashley. Like some of them be like, smile, but I don't like that, right? Because what if I'm deep in thought? Like I, it has nothing to do with you or the environment that i'm around that's really my damn face so so i just feel I'm like mad that we all got quiet because we all was reading because <laughs> bro that was a lot <laughs> somebody gotta be the we need a person that just read comments out loud so i just feel this is what i feel i feel like when it comes to the resting bitch face the face is so cold to where it makes men feel like they can't approach a woman like me but I'd be like, come on. Like, so the men that I want, so, I, I go and get them. That was going to be my question. Like, Do I go, go and get the man that I want. I'm always the woman who be like, shot, baby. I'm always going to shoot my shot because my uh, men don't want to approach me. They don't know how to say something to me. So if they feeling me and I can tell, I'm, I'm coming to you. That's what's up. I don't have no problem doing that. No, I've been smiling this I, whole time. I mean, you have. She I said. She said when she just logged in, she was just talking about your face. Yeah, just you know. yeah. Because I feel like that's I have to do the rest and bitch face me me because I feel like a lot of times men don't get to see that. No, we don't. So let me ask you a question. Unless I watch her stories <laughs> on like Facebook. Let me I'm like, you. oh, she has a good time. She's yeah, a, like, life. like I, I feel like that they don't get to see my personality enough. But since I do have my business, it's something that uh, we get it. You now to, I, you, you really it. get to see who I am. Like, full. I'm just open. I'm just open now. I'm just an open book, literally. Hey, as much as I love my, an open I book, really literally. Change profile, bro, she got to make money, bro. I don't like it. It's I get I get as us. We don't like it, but. We we here we are. Yeah, you know absolutely. So is your pickup game strong? What do you mean? Like, do I do you pick have up a lot of guys? Line? Do you have a lot? Do you have a go to line? No, um, I don't have a pickup line, but I might buy him a drink. Have you hate kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> do you I hate have what? Have you hate kingdom? Like, What's hey, that? you know, like niggas slide the DMs like, hey, queen, you're beautiful stuff. Hell like, no, nah, that's so corny. You never hate kingdom, nigga. No, nah, like, no, like, maybe if I start like, talking to him, like, later on down the line, but like, it ain't no, like, like, what's up, King? I feel like that's so corny. <laughs> like, <laughs> you ain't I, no like, what's up, King? I see your glasses. No, I'm you. really, I'm really <laughs> corny with it. I'm really, I'm actually really corny with it because I feel like I don't do the what's up, King? Like, I'm definitely like the girl that would buy you a drink. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I'm a like what you drinking on type like you drink Hennessy? No, I don't. Praise white no. Jesus. I drink rum. I drink rum. Oh, you so I'm Captain Ca- Morgan. I'm of Caribbean descent, so I drink rum. So you know. She, so for all the guys out there listening, she drinks rum. <laughs> Preferably Malibu. I don't know. Well, you know, I like rum. I like you know, I like what I like. <laughs> I like what I like. You, you got know. your own car. <laughs> Keep it as terrible. You got your own car. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, baby is. Yeah. She on that. She on that. Kiva, stop coming. Please. No, nah, fam. We miss her, bro. She, she got, on that. You got no, your own car. No, I don't car. have a pickup line. Hey, Mimi, line. since you're here, what's your pickup line? You know what, Mimi? Some wild Rump shit. Brian's been bummed. 
And that's where his tongue should be by the end of the night. You know what? You got to go, fam. See? And you asked for that. I did. You asked for that. She want niggas to eat butt. Well, uh, how do you feel about the whole ass eating pandemic? My God. I'm sorry. It's a, it's, it's a lifetime. Bro, it's the transition um, for me. Did me yeah, that was a huge wrong, transition. Wrong, that kind of hit me. That kind of hit me. Um, In what way? Is that, a, is that a question we're not supposed to ask? All right. It's no, what, I'm, it, it caught me off guard. Was that, was that a trigger word? No, it just have we triggered you this episode? Yeah, absolutely. Not. Okay, we just want to make uh-huh. sure. So in the next episode, when you come back, I'll be sure to hit all of your triggers. <laughs> she gonna hit you in all the soft spots. So that's on I'm, you. I'm com- I'm hundred percent soft. That's what you get, honey. Hand slap. <laughs> she just gonna grab you. you. Slap the person? Like in the club? She look like she has. I have well, not in the club. I will tell y'all. You know, you got some big ass hands. Oh my. <laughs> my hands are not that big. Wait a minute. What did Mimi uh, say? I don't know. My pickup line is asking, "What's the best camera?" And you know, my hands aren't that big. Make sure you guys check out Hostly Awkward every Sunday night, starting at eight p.m. Bro, something is seriously wrong with this person who shares my last name. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I have slapped someone. Um, Were they being not, inappropriate? Would it be inappropriate? Were they being inappropriate? I have not slapped anyone far as like um that was black. Mm. <laughs> 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 she was real specific. Like that they weren't black. That <laughs> they did get this hand. That's it. That's all I'm sharing. I just feel like a white man just, you know, was like, hey, how you doing? Good looking? And just grabbed your cheeks because that's Inappropriate. I, I, That's fuck. They, if they're drunk, they do it. Okay. See? And that don't mean he doesn't deserve to be slapped. I just. Have you ever slapped somebody for touching your hair? No. Because the non melanated is notorious for doing that. No. He can actually touch no, I my not. hair. I, I, I mean, my hair has actually gotten really long now. I've so. noticed that. Yeah. Great you job on that. Hair. Thanks. It's all natural now, you, you know. What are you using? Juices and berries? Um, I don't know what my friend shout out to April Norwood for doing the juices oh, and berries. Big sexy. Um uh, what'd you call her? Oh, big sexy. I said that, I said that out loud. You said that out loud. That's a that's a baddie on my daddy. Right. That's a, that's, <laughs> that's why her silence. She takes good hair good care of my hair. So, um, so, me, does, so Mimi asks, when you slap that non-melanated person, did it echo? <laughs> um, Mimi, what happened was this uh, person in particular, I can't, be, can't say too much without the legalities of it. Damn, this, um, this is a pending case? No, it's close. Oh. Um, it didn't echo, but it definitely became a problem. It was a problem. See, Kiva. And I'm not surprised that Kiva's out here. Okay, Kiva, you definitely got to come to sip and speak. First of all, I need to know why Kiva is even at James. Because Kiva likes hanging out with old people. Kiva got to come to sip and speak. Apparently. She loves hanging out at James. Hey, we need to run out that one place again. Which place? uh, Oh, Zena Spot? On the south side. I was thinking about doing that for uh, for Christmas. But I don't think I'm gonna do paint this time. No, I don't want to paint. I just, I just love it because it's a smoke friendly environment. Not I'm, every place is a smoke friendly. If Tim don't get back to me, we might have to go there for the Halloween. I like but I probably smoke. would expect for them to already be booked that weekend. But smoke we'll see. It's cool. So you out here writing books, slapping hoes. <laughs> oh now, yeah, Kiva used to have the fairs watching on their show. Since this is a, a platform of mm-hmm. things that you know. And we like to talk about. Um, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you got 20 minutes. <laughs> it was just one point in time that I was I wanted to slide in, in, in your inbox on Twitter. Okay. I ain't going to lie. Let me see, honest. You probably did, bro. Let's keep it a buck. I don't know. I probably still got the. You know what? I was going through all like my old Twitter DMs. So uh, apparently other people were and, too. And, no, he was going through actual actual tweets of shit that we actually said to people. Y'all know what? our 2009 tweets aren't on there anymore. Shit. I, where the fuck he found these motherfuckers? He didn't pull shit out the dungeon. He, he must have had some shit favored. Because 
Like he, ha- you know what he does. Reading them, I was just like, he does. We sound like such maybe mean it's crazy people. Yeah, talking about you, one. Huh? Yeah, I, just, I want, I want to slide. I probably did. It's probably somewhere in my DMs. Like I look low key. Sometimes I go back and look at like all my Facebook inboxes. Mm-hmm. I was like, I must have been like some kind of whore. Some because I whore? like I just went through like seven inboxes in a row, and it was just like. It was either a phone number or it was me giving out my phone number. One. It you know was what? 2019, I it, bro. I honestly 2009. Think that it was a lot of people. You were like a fresh 20, bro. It was so many different people from your y'all circle of I friends can. that definitely slid, slid. I, I I'm not surprised. I they done slid, slid. You know. I'm trying to see, remember if I did. Hell, let's keep it up. Not I don't know, but she's been supporting. And, Shout and, out. and she's actually in. Shout out to her. I, I don't know. Like I don't. I don't. Um, I definitely. I don't put down people who've done slid in my DM. Yeah, like, no, I, I mean, mean I, I, I you know, I'm definitely gonna let them slide, and then so, like, I'm gonna slide. You know, the opposite my, way. Like, <laughs> have you ever? No, slid, I'm not gonna slide. Has somebody ever? Way. Has somebody ever slid in your DM? Mm-hmm. But meanwhile, on the other side of your DM, you were actually talking to that boy. Yes. That's terrible. Yeah. But they didn't know. Of course they didn't know. They're not supposed to. <laughs> they not. If y'all doing y'all <laughs> well, diddy, if y'all know. doing y'all do why diddy right, they shouldn't know. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's you know. Depends on it depends on my my intent when I slide. I I think I have every intention. If I'm gonna I'm, slide in your DM, I'm actually. I mean, I'm trying to slide. Surprised, but I'm gonna wait till the show Cause, over. Cause I be looking, like just like I was looking through the. I'm like, Mm, there's a lot of my niggas was in here too. I, I'm for sure that this happened. I'm for sure that this happened. No comment. It's not for <laughs> it's not for me to ask, bro. Was he here? Cause that's not my business. It be what are you talking about? Give me a give me no, a whisper. I'm, just, I'm not gonna tell okay. you. Okay. Know, I, I was looking through DMs of chicks that I know that know the crew. Yeah, sometimes. Oh, I know a lot of y'all. I don't know who who. Right. That's the know. point. You're not supposed to know. You're not supposed to know until you know. I mean, if it's gonna be what it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying. And, and, we, what, and you know what? We are the, all grown. Why and can't the great, life be like right? That? And so the great thing I about don't tell. Us is we I don't never tell judge. No secrets. <laughs> we don't judge. We don't tell. Right. You will never know who was just at who house prior to before being at bro's house. We don't give if, a damn. If I'm here, well, back just, then we didn't. If I'm here just to fuck, and you are here to be in a relationship, now it's a race against time. So either you gonna wife her before I fuck her, or I'm going to fuck her before you wife her. Either Baby. or, we all win. That yes, Kiva, we definitely love the crew. Cause oh my, <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> It's a group of chicks now. Nah, look at their friends. I'm like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, right. like we go, thank you, y'all. Mimi. We gonna, gonna the stop. Guys we gonna telling. stop right here. Absolutely, this because right here. because it's a girl thing. It's a girl thing. Make sure y'all come to sip and speak October 10th. I thought I was bad. She is definitely. Make sure okay. y'all come to my event, sip and speak October 10th, 2625 South Greeley Street. We're talking about relationships identifying self-worth and drawing the line between second chances. Also, y'all Ooh, can go ahead tough. and purchase Lost and Child Welfare. My book is on AshleySStokes.com. That's my whole entire name, AshleySStokes.com. And it's available for purchase. Her initials. Ass, <laughs> ass, 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 ass. The name of this episode is <laughs> Haitian Ass. Haitian ass. <laughs> hey, can we do that? Yeah, it's done now. Okay. Haitian ass. But no, ass. We, we, sta- we stopping right here because the one of the greatest things about Twitter, especially um, during Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yeah. Oh, I'm done with y'all. Was, Shout well, out to Twitter. Matter of fact, it's October. I will be there. Right. They were. Again. They were. I'm, it was. The boobage was everywhere until you whole ass niggas. It's always niggas. Started fucking shit up. Just because... See, we should have been on that movement for protect black women back then. Big fact. Just because this chick has sent the same titty pic to eight of us don't mean you get on Twitter and get upset because you got see, recycled titties. See, Except the titties. Okay, yeah. Love the titties. Yep. 
<laughs> niggas be feeling entitled and want to feel special. Right. I, I need brand new titty. But bitch, you don't even talk to her outside of Twitter. You don't I'm deserve done. shit. <laughs> but you out here fucking it up for everybody. Mm-mm. Now it's not even safe. To put. Then nope, you want to yeah. leak new. You know what? Um, I like. We be chilling because sometimes y'all be funny looking but be cool. So we hit anyway. Then here you go telling the cute friend we didn't know about that you ruined our chances. Y'all in this cute. All right. So with that being said, Mimi, you are not allowed to comment on the show ever again. Uh uh-uh, uh. Mimi definitely could comment. No. no not okay. Here. So Kiva like some niggas hiding the cute friend. Hey. <laughs> I like Kiva. She's hey, funny. Just, then you got just fake imagine guy. if that's you, though. She funny. Like, they look upon you as the nigga hiding the cute niggas. Oh, my. Kiva funny. Like, <laughs> talk, see, it's so many things as a dude that we cannot handle in life. To find out that you're not the cute friend to them. Yes. Yes. You know you don't find out. You, you don't find that out until y'all get in an argument. I don't want to not be the. I just see. I don't want to be the cute nigga, and I don't want to be the not cute nigga. You just, just want to be in the gray I be area. Somewhere in the gray. You want to be the cool, funny nigga, right? Where like it's it's fifty fifty. It's hit and miss. Like I would fuck him, but I didn't fuck him. Like I'm good in that area. You know what? Okay. <laughs> like that's I'm cool. Right. That's that's a safe space. That's a real safe okay. space. You can be friends, and right. you can end up with your dick in her one day. It's right. all cool. So, you know, it's all good. Consensually. Pew, pew, pew. Consensually. <laughs> but uh, I would like to thank uh, Haitian, aka Ashley Stokes, for coming through. And as you can see by her tattoo, she's a cancer. So we we share a common bond. Because what's your birthday on the 4th? The 4th and of her, July. Her Yours is the 4th. Mine is the 1st. So we share a bond because we're cancers. Yes. No, they, Baby yeah, said I mean, something no, about the beautiful bosses. <laughs> Mimi told me about that. Did she tell you? Make sure y'all add me on Facebook. With my page is. You will be able she to see my that. event as well if you go to my page. It is public, so that you would be able to slide through. Now that we doesn't pull mean, up and drive through. Yeah, that, that don't mean slide. That don't mean in sliding in her DMs. Her DMs. <laughs> Mean slide through the event. Fucking freaky niggas. That just mean come through, check slide her, pay, through. and buy we her book. up and drive throughs too. You know what? That is wild. <laughs> <laughs> that is hey, maybe pull up, eat pussy, and leave. I guess that is a drive through. Hi. Hi, yeah. too. Seven, seven, eleven, right there. Oh, I got another cancer in the building. Okay, cancer Shout game. Out. What's I'm up? With, I'm fucking with all the cancers, man. Well, the. Kiva, yes. just to give you a heads up, because hey, it's the a Halloween PBR plans, my thing. friends have full circle television Halloween party. It is going to be at on the Bayou. Full circle it. television is on Instagram. TDR doing their own thing. You yeah, go, go. That's what we doing Halloween. Oh, see, that's the thirty first Halloween. That's oh. first. actually that Friday before. Oh, that's right. Halloween I did see that. So we gonna party all weekend, Kiva. So get your shit together. Yeah, yeah, and I'll be off in time. God damn, I want to do a haunted house till the nigga stab him, kid. I told you we can go do a haunted house. Nah, I'm not fucking with that. Like, the last haunted house I went to, anybody who can sit still for that long, you you the devil. How <laughs> you grabbed the wrong one. I'm sick of her. Yeah, so that's Friday, and then the TDR thing we're doing on Saturday. And then Sunday, I guess we go trick or treat and rob kids for the candy. I don't know. You gonna put a costume on? I am putting a costume on. What you gonna Are you going I'm not as telling a, you what I'm you going, going as be. a sexy nurse. Uh, no, that usually be the not. default. That's so corny. But you just oh, said earlier sexy. you were corny. You just said I am very. I didn't say with my clothes. Okay, oh, okay little baby. Excuse, excuse us then. I be double tapping on Instagram. God damn. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. And it, see, like my mind, it worked. It, it's so crazy. Like one day, I just didn't see you on like social media, <laughs> and then you popped up. I was like, God damn! <laughs> she was she always been pretty, but now I'm like, oh, damn. Yeah. I had to share some pics. I was like, hey, y'all, hey, y'all like this? Who do you share these pictures? Don't worry with? about who I sent these Instagram links to. I just asked my niggas that they seen Haitian lately. And I was like, yeah, she, she bad. I was like, uh huh. Right. So it's not just me. Okay, cool. We so wait, wait, wait. So you 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 was out here like that's her fan photos. <laughs> Is that what you like? That's that's her. I don't know these people. 
I, apparently he didn't show me, so I don't know who the hell. Nice. But I probably wasn't in the vicinity, which. Hey, I'm just. I'm not mad at probably you. Probably was the nigga I was next to when he, I was looking. I mean, all you had to do was like, "Hey, fam, I think I want to get out of Haitian soul," and I'll be like, "I tried. It didn't work." Okay. Had it worked, we'd probably be married by now. I'm just saying. Okay, that's a lie. But since she's been dropping her information all day. We're going to give her an actual moment, like we do every Absolutely. other guest, to plug all <laughs> your events, your social media, where people can find you at, uh, any type of uh, events you have coming up. Go ahead and tell the world about it. Okay, Ash. it's Ashley Shanika Stokes. In hey, case Shania. you didn't know, absolutely not. Ashley S. Stokes.com. I do have an event that's coming up, Sip and Speak where you will be speaking with dope black women having dope conversations my guest speaker is g and stephan crosley give me some hands. i mean y'all got the buttons i didn't know you needed a hand clap for that. i needed something that's okay. why i told you she okay the button. She so doing i do now. have my event it's october 10th um you have to register for my event through my website. The tickets are actually free. So it's free for you guys to go ahead and purchase the tickets. It's for the ladies, especially my sisters out here, giving back to my community through therapeutic sessions. And it's going to be so dope. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. It's definitely going to be a vibe. You going to do anything for the men? We I got, don't, we, you just said we, we got, got mental you. health issues. Well, we, we need love, too. We, yeah, love. I got you. Oh, look. Okay, y'all see Heaven, the definition? Heaven, I need a hug. Look at the definition. Oh. <laughs> Why would oh. you just... Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have to catch what you're saying. Okay, <laughs> so absolutely. You going to need a hug. Make sure right. that y'all follow me on Facebook, Ashley Stokes, and my Instagram is Haitian074. And my Twitter is Haitian Soul still. I'm still going to always keep my Twitter. Um, but check me out. My book is also available on AshleySTokes.com. Um, and, yeah, I'm available for speaking. All that. All that. All that. What do you speak all about? That affirmation. Like, what do you speak about? Because if I want to hire you, I need to know what you're actually talking about. Because there's a lot of people who put so public speaking in their bio. Talk about. And I'm like, what Mental are you talking about? Mental health related issues that goes on in black communities amongst black women black men anything that's bliggity bliggity black maybe i'm gonna make you a shirt that say that thank you maybe i should put like i'm gonna just start putting random shit on my bio and see who books me just don't put bitcoin minor i'm gonna put booking don't put bitcoin in there i'm gonna block you if you don't put the word bitcoin i'm gonna think you got hacked bro and block you booking info i'm gonna block you I'd be like, why? What do you speak about? Shit. What you need me to speak about. Right, whatever you want me to talk about. <laughs> I'll sit here and talk okay. to your ass. What you need me to speak about. But with that being said, we have come to the end of this episode. Uh, this has been a very interesting episode, to say the least. It was fun. It was fun. It was fun. I it was fun that. and long overdue. This this episode was 10 years in the making. <laughs> uh, That's their fault. No, you, you stop fucking with us. It's your fault. You okay, got now you finna get this rest of the bitch face. You on. got you you in Hollywood on us. I got one too. No, you just like an old nigga. Same face. <laughs> but make sure you check us out on all streaming platforms. That's Twitter. Okay, no. Spotify. Y'all don't like that face? No, I don't like that face. iHeart Music, Instagram. We gotta start using our Instagram again. Uh we're also on Audible. Mm-hmm. We're gonna work with her and get I do the- have a flyer for this event. Go ahead and look at my um, Facebook page um, Ashley Stokes you will see it my flyer is available on there it's open um, you can also go to my website and directly um, get the free tickets on my website Ashley S Stokes.com that's A-S-H-L-E-Y S-S-T-O-K-E-S dot com the event is October 10th so next um next sunday sunday next sunday 12 to 3 p.m um it's a must register event space is limited hey, and is tickets time? are selling out yes. absolutely it's brunch time it's Will gonna be, be unlim- a vibe is it unlimited mimosas? i mean you know the lady's gonna tell you what it's gonna be when they get there you, you better know? you better roll out all the red I feel carpet like I need to be here now. 
The ladies going to tell you. They when don't they never get want there. us to be nothing. I swear <laughs> to God, they get there and they talk about us while drinking uh, champagne and orange it's juice. It's on my website, y'all. AshleySTokes.com. AshleySTokes.com. Go like, ahead and register for your free like, tickets right this now. This is like a man hater club. That's Absolutely like not. I would never put the like. kings down. It's never that. You won't put us down, but you won't hate kings. You know what? I feel so unappreciated. You know, okay, we about to we about to slide. We can slide right now. All right. Uh, she, I don't she, know how to take she, that. She's starting to talk that Chicago lingo. All right. I don't feel safe. It's time. <laughs> to I'm from the city. The I'm Cap- definitely from the city. The too. Caprini Greens is coming out of her right now, and that's our cue to get up out of here. Candyman was yeah. Mind his own black <laughs> business until a white woman pulled up. You know, nobody ever t- uh-uh. Next episode. You ain't never watched the original Candyman? Nope. That's exactly how the movie started. He was minding his own black business, Next and episode. then this white woman came to research. What? Next, yeah. Next episode, we're talking about horror movies. So, uh, we're definitely talking about horror movies. Michael Myers being one of the faves. Are you coming back you coming next back week? Next week? I mean, I can see, you know, I might as well go ahead and promote the event next week. Might as well. But do we got room for you? Oh, no, this, no, no, not a knock. We we out. booked in business, but we about to get up out of here, Maybe people, because she's trying to leave us. So leave, okay. with that being said, Make we sure out, people. Peace. I'm fine. <laughs> OK, thank you. all Okay, let me slide. Ooh.